Do you have a septic system? Do you know where your septic system is located? Do you know how to prevent from damaging your septic system? Do you know who to contact for information about your system? Brenda, Brenda, stop daydreaming. The pool guy's here. Okay. Good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm Kevin with Priority Pools. You ready to look at your pool site? Yeah, sure. Let's go. This must be where your underground utilities are located. Yeah, all of our utilities are located in the front yard. Good. Okay, over here is where we'd like to put our pool. Now, before I get started, are you on city sewer or do you have a septic system? I don't know. We just bought this house. Why would that matter? Well, I don't want to damage your septic system if you have one back here. I think we need to call the health department first and find out. You can find your health department number under your government head. Here it is. Health department. Environmental health. Environmental health, how can I help you? I need to find out if we have a septic tank. Okay, let me connect you with the environmental health specialist, Tim Johnson. Environmental health, this is Tim. This is Bob Dixon. We're putting in a pool and need to know if we're on city sewer or if we have a septic system. Let me get some information. Where do you live? Uh, it's a good thing you called because you are on a septic system. You don't want to damage that with a pool. Well, what should we do? I happen to be coming out that way this morning and I'll be glad to come out and help you locate your system. Uh, will you or your pool contractor be able to meet me around say about 11 o'clock? Sure, we'll see you then. Hey Kevin. Hey Tim. Hey the Dixons. My name's Bob. It's my wife, Brenda. Brenda, okay. nice to meet you. I'm Tim from the health department. Here y'all want to put a pool in. Yeah, Tim, I believe uh, right here is where we're thinking about putting the swimming pool. Okay, well, I found your information, and it, that may be a problem. Uh, let me look this over. You want to put the pool in this area? And forward to the diagram, that's where you're uh, septic system's located. Well, what exactly is a septic system? It's a good question. Your septic system consists of a tank to begin with. Septic systems are composed of several components including a tank and absorption field. The septic tank is the first component of your system. The tank is a watertight underground container with two compartments and is most commonly made of concrete. The wastewater generated in your home flows into the tank where it allows the solids to separate from the liquid waste. Solids accumulate at the bottom of the tank where bacteria digest and partially clean the wastewater before flowing to the absorption field. Absorption fields, also called drain fields or field lines, are connected to the septic tank by PVC pipe. The function of the absorption field is to distribute wastewater from the septic tank to the soil. As wastewater moves downward into the soil, further filtration and bacterial treatment clean the wastewater prior to reaching groundwater. Absorption fields may be of various sizes and shapes depending on the soil and the site conditions. There are several different types of state-approved absorption field systems. Through the use of septic systems, household waste is transformed into a byproduct that poses no health concerns. Approximately 30% of Georgia households have septic systems. According to your diagram, this is the area where your field lines are located. We don't want to damage them. So if we can, if y'all have got some flexibility and can move the pool, let's talk about doing that. Well, can we put our pool right here? 
First, we're going to have to identify an area for replacement. Why do we need replacement area? We need an area set aside to replace your system if it fails. These systems don't last forever. Its life depends on how well you maintain your system. Well, what can we do to maintain our septic system? Well, I can give you a whole list of do's and don'ts from that. Do keep records. An inspection report with Sketch should be on file with the health department. Keep records of all service visits and repairs. Do have your septic tank pumped every three to five years. Do call your local health department whenever you have problems with or questions about your system. Repair permits are required whenever any changes are made to your system. Do conserve water. Quickly repair dripping faucets and running toilets. Use water saving fixtures and appliances. Do divert water away from the septic system. Gutters, foundation drains, and sump pumps should discharge below the system. Do ensure that anyone working on your system is state certified. Do stagger wash loads throughout the week. Washing multiple loads in a short time period can overload your system. Don't park or drive over any part of the system. Don't plant anything directly over the absorption field except grass. Don't use septic tank additives. They don't help and may be harmful. Don't use a garbage disposal unless your system was designed for it. You can contact your local environmental health department if you are unsure of your system's design. Don't build over the septic tank or absorption field. Don't use your system to dispose of inappropriate waste items. Many household items and chemicals can clog and cause damage to your system. Pouring cooking grease down drains is a common mistake. Excessive amounts of household cleaners are also not recommended. Well, it's not a guarantee, but if you follow those recommendations, you should get many years of service out of your septic system. I had no idea I had so much responsibility in caring for my system. Well, most people don't, and that can result in early failures and calls for the repairs. How would we know if our system was having a problem? Well, these are some of the things you need to look out for. Your septic system may have problems if you encounter the following. Congested or slow-flowing drains, excessively green grass near your tank or absorption field, wet spots or seepage in your yard, and strong or unusual odors alone or together with any of the other symptoms. If you encounter a problem with your septic system, you should first call your local environmental health department. Your local environmentalist can advise you on permitting procedures, search for a record of your original septic system, and help you diagnose any possible problems that may have contributed to a septic system failure. Next, if repairs are needed, you may need to contact a repair company that is certified by the state to install septic systems. Your local environmental health office can provide you with a list of certified contractors in your area. If possible, be available when your local environmentalist and your contractor initially look at your system. As a homeowner, you should take an active role in the decision-making process involved in your septic system repair. Once the preliminary decisions have been made and the permit is issued, any necessary work can begin. After the work has been completed, your septic contractor will contact the local environmental health office in order to schedule a final inspection. This inspection helps to ensure that the repair is installed to the rules and regulations for on-site sewage management systems. Honey, I sure am glad we built this pool. Yeah, but how do we get rid of them? <laughs>